Welcome to Mrs. Taylor's math class. Today we will learn how to find the distance between points on a coordinate plane. So let's begin. Find the distance between negative 4 and 5 and negative 4 and negative 3. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and plot your points. So you would start at the origin, which is in the middle at 0, 0. Negative 4 says go to the left four times. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if you did what I did, your first dot should be in quadrant 2. The next ordered pair is negative 4, negative 3. So again, you start at the origin, go to the left 4 spaces, and then down 3 spaces. And if you did what I did, your dot should be in the third quadrant. So now, in order to find the distance, you would just count from one point to the next. So I'm going to start at negative 4, negative 3, and count up to negative 4, 5. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 spaces. So the distance between negative 4, 5, and negative 4, 3 is 8 spaces. And we're done. Let's go, or in this case, we would say eight units. Let's, let's be proper. Eight units. Let's not say spaces. So we are talking about distance. Okay, let's go to the next question. Find the distance between three negative two and negative four negative two. So I'm going to start at the origin. I'm going to go to the right three spaces and go down two spaces. That is three negative two. Now it says negative four and negative two. So I'm going to start at the origin, go to the left four spaces, and then down two and put a dot. To find the distance, I'm going to count from one dot to the next. So I'm going to start here at the left at negative four, two, negative four, negative two, and then go to three, negative two. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the distance between three negative two and negative four negative two is seven units. Okay. The next example, if you were not given a grid, you would need to figure out well how to calculate the distance. So if you notice, um, find the distance between seven negative four and seven five. If you notice, the first two numbers are the same, or the x-coordinates are the same. So all you have to calculate is the distance between the y-coordinates, which is negative 4 and 5. So you will put negative 4 in the absolute value bars. You're going to add it to the absolute value of 5. And then you just rewrite the problem as positive 4 plus positive 5, and you get 9. So the distance between... 7, negative 4, and 7, 5 is 9 units. Okay? Now let's go back just to make sure we are clear. We could have done the same thing here for this example. We see here that the y-coordinates are the same. So in order to calculate the distance, I can do the same thing. I could say 3, the absolute value of 3, plus the absolute value of negative 4, and then I rewrite the problem as both positive numbers, 3 plus 4, and I get 7 again. Again, let's go back to the first example. We can do the same thing here. We see that the x-coordinates are the same, so I'm just calculating the distance between the y-coordinates. So I'm going to say the absolute value of 5 plus the absolute value of negative 3, and I get 5 plus 3, and I have 8. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Class is dismissed.